you're looking for copyright free photos or copyright free images or royalty free stock photography online at no cost to you, then you've come to the right place. Hello, I'm Yoda and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now during this course, if you run into any troubles, just leave a comment below the video and I'll be more than happy to assist you. And don't be shy about asking for help. I've been a webmaster instructor, aka the Web Yoda, for over 20 years and I love to hear from my students. But if you could, please pay it forward. If you could like the video, subscribe to the video, share the video, tell your friends about the video. Those are the kind of things that help get the word out there so other students like you can find this video. So to get started, the first thing you want to do is go to webyoda.com front slash photos, and it'll bring you to this page. Now your goal is to get access to images that you know that you can use for free, and nobody's ever going to come back to you and cry foul that you're using their images. As far as free images are concerned, you'll hear a lot of terms out there. For example, public domain photos and images, royalty free photos and images, copyright free photos and images. Each of those three terms can be very similar, but they also have differences. It's not my intention to try to explain what those three terms are. Instead, my intentions are to find photos and images that you can use for free in your website or for other uses, so long as you're not looking to sell them. That being said, even though we'll be allowed to use these photos and images for free, that does not necessarily mean we have the privilege to sell them. For our purposes, we're going to focus on royalty-free photos and images. These come in two types. They can be free versions and paid versions. Obviously, 99.9% .9 of the ones I use are free versions. However, every once in a while, I want to try to get a paid version. And if I do that, I can use this promo code and I can save myself 15%. You can do that as well. Now, most of the paid sites for getting royalty-free photos and images, for example, Shutterstock, will charge you really high prices to get access to whatever that is. For example, they're start at $29. Whereas the ones that I get, I get through 123RF.com, RF standing for royalty free, and they start at $9 a piece, and then I apply this promo code and I can save 15% on that. Let's go ahead and dive in and see what kind of royalty free images are out there. At the bottom of this page are my three favorite free sites for royalty free images, and then my favorite paid site for royalty free images. And the last button is for a free photo editor. If you're looking to edit your photos and videos online at no cost to you, then you'll want to check out this video later. At the time of shooting this video, the top three places to get royalty-free images were these three. However, for some reason this changes in the future, I will change these out so you may see different options here. I'm going to go ahead and open a tab for each one of these so we can compare them. And then when you come to each one of them, you can scroll down and you'll see that they have some very high-end quality pictures. But what's the difference? Well, the difference is they all have different stuff. So some of them will have what you're looking for and some of them won't. So for you, the best advice is just start with the first one. See if you can find what you're looking for. If not, go to the next. But let's just do a couple of searches across each one of these just to see what you can expect. So I'm going to do food. And you can see these are really great if you're looking for anything particularly food related. Go to the next one. Again, high quality, very crisp, very nice. Go to the next one. Again, high quality, very crisp, very nice. Go to the next one. It's just up to you to find the ones that you want to use for your particular project. Now for a search for food, it's quite apparent that you can pretty much get really nice pictures of what you may be looking for across any of these sites. Let's do another search. For example, let's say you're starting a lawn and landscape company. Well, when you click on this, you start to see some of the differences about what you may or may not be able to find. These may or may not really be what you're looking for to start a lawn and landscape company. So we'll try the next site. And the next site. This one had a few decent ones. But they don't really seem like what you'd have if you were starting a business to do this. And you come to this site. And all of a sudden they have some that look more like a lawn and landscape company. So it could be that if you needed lawn and landscape pictures, you'd come here and just purchase the ones that you needed. However, that being said, there's another source for pictures you got to consider, and that is obviously taking your own pictures. That way you wouldn't have to worry about paying a fee at all to anybody or searching them. You would just come up with your own content. Now let's look at how we get pictures from these websites. So let's go back here. Let's do a search for beach. And let's say we want that one. We'll hit download. And we've got it sitting there. Let's go to the next one. We'll type in beach. And let's say we want that one. So we can hit download. And now we got a copy of that one. 
And if we go over to here, we'll do beach. We come here, let's say we want that one. So we can hit download. I'm not a robot, not today. And now if you go to your downloads folder, there's the pictures that you downloaded. They're ready to use, ready to go. And at this point, you probably have all the information you need because most likely, like me, you'll find almost everything you need in the free sites. But what are the situations where you may want a paid version? There's three really good reasons you may want to purchase images. First, you're going to get a lot wider selection of images to choose from. Next, you can ensure that most other people aren't using the same images you are because most of the other people are all using the free images. And third, most important, is to have access to images of people that are not available for free online. And the question is, well, why would the people pictures not be for free? Well, if you go to the beach and you take a picture like the one you're looking at here, and then you put it online for free, this doc is not going to want to get paid for you taking a picture of it. However, if you took this same picture and it had a person on it, that person probably wants to get paid to be in the picture, so the only place you're going to find that image is on a paid site. Well, let's look at a couple examples of that. If we go to Bethany's new website, there's a picture of this really pretty girl here. Well, you're not going to be able to get this picture for free. It's going to be a paid picture. If we look at another website, create-a-blog.com. Well, here's a picture that I wanted to be able to use, but I couldn't find one for free. So let me show you that example so that you can understand. We'll come back here, and let's say we do a search for attractive girl holding money in a sweater. And on the free site, this is what we get. Let's look at the next one. Here again, some pretty people, but nobody holding money. We'll look at the next one. They couldn't even find any matches for what we were looking for. So now let's come over here. 123RF. Same search. All of a sudden we get a bunch of people holding money. And there's the picture that we were trying to find. So for me, that's the exception for why I'd want to purchase a picture. So let's say I wanted this picture. I can click on that. At medium size, it's going to be plenty huge. It's going to cost four credits, and those four credits cost you $9. Plus, you can use the promo code WebYoda15 to save even more. So now you should have all the information you need to get most of your images for free, and then purchase one here or there if you need to purchase one. All the images at these sites will be super high quality, super high res. But if you put all these photos and images in your website without resizing and optimizing them, your website's going to run really slow. If you can reduce the size of your photos and images by two, your website will load twice as fast. If you're interested in optimizing the photos and images in your website, just choose the link at the top right. It'll take you to a video I made on optimizing your website. Now, I truly hope I covered everything you needed in this tutorial. Now, if there was something I didn't mention or you had additional questions, please leave them below. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. But if I don't know the answer, I'll go, hey, I don't know. But if I do know the answer, I can find the answer, I'll give it to you, and maybe we can work on it together. So I really enjoy doing this. I hope you had a great time as well. The only real payment I'm looking for, if I could possibly get a subscribe out of this, possibly a like out of this, that'd be super helpful. But outside of that, I just hope you have a great day. Peace out.